Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday and I need to draw my curtains. It's so dark in here. I am starting the vlog a little bit late. I'm just gonna turn on all my machines and stuff so we can get going for the day. But I ended up like carrying on last week's vlog a little bit longer. So I took a few days off and I'm starting this one now. Just realized my secret Santa gift for someone who potentially might watch the video was in the background so if I blur anything out that's why <laughs> but this week is the week before Christmas week and I'm working on new releases for Friday and my boxing day release slash sale so I have a lot to do I'm actually feeling a little bit stressed um I was feeling fine and then I wasn't <laughs> which is how it tends to go I'm gonna queue up some printing while I talk to you but I actually have a hair appointment in a few hours so I'm gonna get stuff ready to print and cut and then go to that. But it's only a cut, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm trying a new hairdresser, so I really hope that I like them, but they have been recommended, so I'm feeling confident. I'm doing a bit of a doodle release this week. So we've got these little post-run ones. I'm trying to make the, the dog trying to get comfy. Um, yeah, I'm doing new doodles. I have so many to release. And I've also got like bought new ones. I think we're gonna have to do doodles for a while <laughs> But I got into a real like swing with them yesterday So I need to actually move on to kits because I've only done one kit um, I've done a couple of like half sheets in doodle kind of style. I'll show you those I've done some banners. There's plain ones and there's floral ones and they are really cute I'm imagining using the big ones in my journal and the small ones in my weekly planner. Obviously you could use them in the journal as well, but they are really, really cute. But I've sized them for the 1.5 inch boxes. So the kit that I've done for this week, I have printed it. So if I find the full box page, this is the mini kit, but it is called Squeaky Clean. How cute. It's like a like homey cleaning, really pretty. Also like a spring cleaning kit because the colors are like really pastel and spring. I believe I've done my last post run for Christmas, so I don't really have, I've got like a handful of outstanding orders, so I might just drop them in a post box instead of do the whole like click and drop thing. Because we went to the post office last week and it was so busy, not with people, but just with bags everywhere. So I don't really want to give them more bags when I can just put them in a post box. So I think I might do that today. But then the main project that I need to get a move on with is organizing all of the foil. So cat's out of the bag. It was out of the bag last week. Um, I'm doing foil. So this was my most recent delivery. There's quite a lot. So I'm sticking with the four core foils for now. So we've got silver, rose gold, hollow and gold. This was an example. I was just testing out the scripts that I've got for the monthly kits. So I normally have these in black, but I've got them in foil and I love them they just look so pretty I feel like it just makes the kit like pop so much more these are my extra dividers for when I was putting the doodles away I've actually had a lot of drama with the foil so it is such a huge relief that it arrived on time and like correctly but I will show you I did show them in the last vlog so I won't go into like super detail but these are what I'm releasing on boxing day I've got planner face foil packs which are sets for weekly kits so you get two sheets of the overlays with a set of headers so that is enough for a whole weekly spread in like a seven by nine standard vertical this is in the rose gold you've got two sheets of underlays and icons so you double up on your icons you get two of each and finally you have the washi sheet so this has two 50 millimeter washi overlays a toolbox overlay which fits the planner face toolboxes some date numbers and some scripts so that makes up your foil pack but pattern wise it is a really pretty like confetti dot pattern in a variety of sort of arrangements for the full boxes it's so hard to get actual good photos of the foil i know people have said this and i've thought yeah that must be hard but until you've actually done it <laughs> it's so hard so i need to spend a good chunk of time tomorrow like just trying to get some good content but this actually looks decent in this light. Funnily enough, I ended up watching a video. It was like 12 years old on YouTube. This guy is showing how to take photos of metallic watches because they have the same problem. It reflects the light in like a weird way. And they were saying that you need to have like a ton of like white boards to like diffuse the light and reflect it in certain ways. And you want your light to reflect onto the metallic thing, I think, rather than be like shone directly onto it. Shone? Shined? Shone. Sean is right, I think. Um, rather than have the light shining directly onto 
your subject you want to reflect it onto something which then reflects it I think I don't know I haven't actually done it I thought I maybe just needed like a third studio light but I can't find one and I think I've got rid of my other ones but that is a problem for me tomorrow and I'm sure I will hate it when I come to do it but today I need to get designing another weekly kit printing and cutting the doodles that I've done and <sighs> maybe deal with the foil I don't know when I'm going to do this I just need to collate it into the packs of five and well the monthly sheets are fine because they're going to be just individuals so these don't need to be like put into any kind of pack but I do need to figure out where I'm going to store all the foil and I've also got the extra advent foil which although isn't quite as much as this is still quite a lot <laughs> so need to figure out where it's all gonna live although the good news is last week i did my plan with me for this week so i don't actually have to worry about that today because i definitely wouldn't have had time to do it and then next week's plan with me is going live like the week it's like the day after boxing day so i was able to use the foil pack and this was the winter one that came in the advent calendar so the advent calendar had like four seasons there was a spring summer autumn and a winter foil pack and this is the winter one look at the snowflakes i just love it it's so pretty so this was like the base that i did and i just need to fill in my plans and then completely separate problem is that i don't really know what kits i'm using i know i want to use the september mystery for christmas week but like to me the most christmasy week is going to be the week leading up to christmas and then this is almost like a new year week because you've got new year's eve but I don't know when I want to use my new year kit if I want to use it for this week or for the first week in my new planner so it's such a dilemma every year but when Christmas and New Year fall on the same week I just have no idea what I'm doing and Joanne has sent me a kit from Josephine Bow Designs but it hasn't arrived yet so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it so I'm back I did get caught in the rain but I'm actually really happy with my hair I feel like it probably looks quite similar but I feel like I just had my normal cut that I asked for but like done nicely so yeah I'm happy with my haircut but I have been working on the new kit so I remembered that I bought the recolored version of the pixie grove art which I released last year and during black friday the artist released like a pink version so it was very blue and green before and now it is like a really pretty kind of like magenta purpley pink colorway so i've been working on that i am purposely trying to design it in a different way to how i did the first one so it's coming together a little bit slowly but i should be done in the next sort of half an hour just got all my clip art organized and then i need to figure out what i'm doing with the fashion people and put the papers in and stuff and then the graph tech has just been working through the uh banners so these are the floral ones in the smaller size and then i've just got the plain ones left to cut and these are the larger ones so i've got the plain ones and the floral ones so these are going to be really good in like bullet journals and like planners where you want like a header sticker i think it would be really good to have like the title of a page or something using this I do not know where the day has gone it's now like six i had the dentist this morning everything was good which is like the best christmas present i could ask for i went to costa with sarah and we had a little catch up had to give her some stickers so that was nice and she gave me loads of boxes which is amazing um then we had to run some errands and honestly just took forever so now i'm back and i'm printing and cutting the second collection is not not really cut that much i would like to have had it done but i think i'll just finish it tomorrow but i really want to start working on the die cuts so i think i've said before that i used to make them on the silhouettes didn't really find it a fun time i think more than anything it was like just not really knowing the cut settings properly probably not having the right blade so i've made a test file and i do want to buy like some artwork on etsy to make into die cuts but i'm just going to try it with a file i've got first in case it ends up being a lot harder than i'm anticipating and then i haven't like bought a bunch of die cuts that i can't use i think if i can't do it i'll just wait and order them because i do outsource them at the minute but it'd just be so much more convenient if i could make them myself and i know like plenty of people are using graftex for die cuts not the self-feeding one well i suppose some people would be but 
like typically people are using like big graph text for die cuts so I don't see why I can't do them. So I'm gonna print this file, which is just the word stickers in like a cute font. Look, I just thought this would be super cute on an album. So um, I need to make some space, but I'm gonna get the laminator out. I don't even think I've got any laminate cut. And surprise, surprise, the foil is still here. So I'm gonna move it. I really need to collect these bundles like really soon. So these crates here, I've had these here for ages and they've been in the background of vlogs but like you can't really tell what's in them. That's because they're full of foil <laughs> and I've not been able to show you them. But now I need to put this somewhere just out of the way, probably in the crates because they can't go on that desk, I need to take photos. Right, I'm gonna cut some laminate first. I think that will do for now and then I'll put the laminator on here and do our test sheet. Oh, I accidentally printed the cut line. <laughs> But that's fine. This is just a test one anyway. Um, I think what I will do, actually I don't need much laminate at all for this because it's such a narrow like sheet. So the thing with die cuts is you're supposed to do what's called a perforation cut, which is what I do anyway for the outside of my sheets. But it basically means there's like a little tab where you don't cut and it keeps the die cut in place while the job on the graph tech is like going and then when you're done you can pop them out. It's also called like a pop out cut but um, the idea is that it keeps the sheet intact so it doesn't fall apart but then you can get them out really easily. So I think for the test sheet I'm just going to manually laminate it with this. I'm not going to get the big laminator out in case it is a flop. I never laminate things like this, I find it really hard. So we may get a bunch of air balls anyway. Cool. so that actually went okay so I guess let's just try it and I think I'm gonna try and use one of the silhouette like deep cut blades I have two that I don't think I got on with for cutting so assuming they're not blunt Ooh, it looks okay so if I put the blade in here and look through it I can see how the blade looks up close I don't think oh you can almost see so that's what I can see basically, and it's like a close-up of the blade. So I think this one looks okay. Thing is, I don't know where I want the blade to be for die cuts, so I'm just gonna put it on number two. A uh, complete guess. And I think I am gonna try doing it in the channel. So on the graph tape, you've got the cutting strip here, and then the channel is this part, which is basically like an indent. And if you position the blade in the forward position, so right now it's in the back position, but it can actually sit a little bit further forward. Then when the blade is cutting, it sits in the channel, so it won't damage your cutting strip. So when I had issues with my graft like a few years ago, someone helped me with cut settings and I've got them written down still. So I'm gonna try his cut settings because he did die cuts. So I'm gonna see if they work. So I do not think the settings are quite right yet. I have got it to kind of pop out, which is much more than I thought I would achieve. It's definitely not bad, like it's nearly there. I don't think I'm using the best blade, so. I'm gonna have one more go with this sheet and then I think I'll laminate another one and try again, but I definitely think I'm getting there. It's like finding the right combination of like how much blade to have exposed and how much force. And I think I possibly got a little bit too much exposed here because I've got like the little fluffy edges, but not too badly. And I might as well try and fix the alignment while I'm here just for, just for fun. So I think I got it working. Look, this is it on an album. So I don't know if I said, the plan is to like completely cover the album in stickers. It's called Sticker Bombing and it's a thing. But I just put this on for now. I'm really happy with the finish. I think it is like completely comparable to when I get them outsourced. So I'm happy. I bought a bunch of like illustrated SVGs, PNGs from artists on Etsy because there was a bunch on there. Um, for like commercial use so you can just make them into die cuts or put them on like products like DTF transfers and stuff like that So I'll do some for tomorrow and see what the feedback is like But I'm so excited to just like stick on my own album because I've been wanting to do this for months and I keep putting it off And now I can pick like the perfect stickers that I want And then the main thing is obviously that while they're in house I don't have to like meet minimum order quantities and I can just make them as and when I want and don't have to wait for them to arrive. Although the worst part is that it really didn't take me that long to get my cut settings figured out, like maybe half an hour. And I've been procrastinating doing this for like nine months. <laughs>
So it's a couple of days later and I've done new releases, I've got the sale freebies ready and I'm about to go and film the sale video. I took the photos for the foil and it was so hard. I've got versions of the photos under the studio lights and then I've got like natural lighting ones and I don't know which ones I prefer but I'm not really fully happy with either of them. So I've ordered this like lighting cone which is supposed to help you photograph metallic things but that won't come in time. So the ones I've taken will do for now and maybe I can like redo them if the cone works. So for sale freebies I have done a bunch of these doodle sheets and they are different doodles to what I normally include on the little multicolour samplers so I thought we'd have like a fresh set of collectible doodles and you've got the little banners along the bottom as well so there are like 12 of these and i'm gonna include one for every 10 pound spent in the boxing day sale and then i've also got a 50 pound minimum spend freebie which is a set of like holidays for the year ahead and a 100 pound freebie which is in the small script size and it is just like a bestseller sampler so all that's really left to do for the sale is to film the video so i've got all of the foil here the new die cuts i did so many designs they're really cute and they've been really popular so far so i'm gonna like enjoy adding to this range i've got some of the blank albums on the top kits doodles and some journaling kits as well so this is what i'm gonna put in the video i'm gonna go and film that video now so i'll end the vlog here but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog and enjoyed seeing like the foil come together i suppose in a bit of last vlog as well but yeah i hope you liked it and i'm really excited to see what foil products come to the shop this year because i think you're seeing this vlog in the new year, so happy new year. Um, do you have a word of the year? If you do, let me know in the comments. I had picked one, I'm not sure if I'm going to change it, um, but I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!